Welcome to another math problem of the week. For today's problem, let x be a set of positive integer not exceeding 24. So we are asked to find the maximum value of mod x so that x has a sum of all subsets different. What does it mean? Supposing x is equals to 2, 3, 7, and 11. All possible subsets of x are empty set 2, 3, 1, uh, x of course is the subset of itself. For each subset, we are going to calculate the sum. Uh, we will exclude the empty set and we start from here. This will give us 2, 3, 7, 11, note that in this case, none of the sum the same. So it's actually fulfill the condition that x has sum of all subset different. That's good. And in this case, this is equal to 4. So is this 4 the maximum? The option for this question is A, 4, B, 5, C, 6, and D, 7. What do you think? Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. When I came across this question many years ago, it is not difficult for me to construct x with five elements that satisfy the condition. That is 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. There are five elements in X. What are the possible sum of all subset? It can be 1, 2, 3, 4. It consists of the sum from 1 until all the way to 31. For this set X, it has five elements and it satisfies this condition. So the natural question is, are we able to increase the number of elements from 5 to 6 such that it still fulfills the condition? Obviously, if there is an x of 6 elements satisfied the condition, it cannot contain these 5 elements because the subset has a sum range from 1 to 31. We are unable to put in anything in between 1 to 24 inside here. A is not the possible answer because we can have a better one. And now I'm going to use pigeonhole principle to show that it cannot have seven elements. Suppose x has seven elements and satisfy the condition. How are you going to use pigeonhole principle? Of course, we need to construct the pigeonholes. What are the pigeonholes? And we need to know what are the pigeons. So let's see. What are the possible subset? Number of non-empty subset of x, it will be equal to 2 to the power 7 minus 1. Because for each element inside x, it's either belong to a particular subset or not to belong to that particular subset. So for each element, it is either in or out. And it has two ways. Since there are seven elements inside the x, so it will be 2 to the power 7. But we have to rule out a particular one because it is non-empty. And this value is equal to 1, 2, 7. What is the larger sum that you have from 7 elements of positive integer <coughs> not exceeding 24? It is 24 plus 23 plus 22 plus 21 plus 20 plus 19 plus 18. And this is actually 21 times 7. And this is equal to 147. 
and note that 147 is greater than 127. So in this case, it seems that we have more pigeonholes than the number of pigeons. So we can't say anything from pigeonhole principle. Then we have to come up with one interesting way. Instead of consider all non-empty subset, we consider the number of a subset with at most four elements. The subset may have only one element, two elements, three elements, or four elements. It is 7, 21, 35, and 35. 70, 98. It is equal to 98. Then we compare to the maximum sum with at most four elements. The sum will equal to 24, 23, 22, and 21. So it will be equal to a 90. And for this 90, this is less than 98. So now pigeonhole principle helps. Now we created so many pigeons, 98 of them, but we have only 90 pigeonholes. So it means that there must be uh, two pigeons to be placed inside the same pigeonhole. In other words, from this subset, there must be at least two of them will have the same sum. It cannot satisfy the condition. And therefore, this is not possible. When it is equal to 5, it is good because it satisfies the condition. But we do not know whether this is maximum. But now we confirm that this is not good because it cannot satisfy the condition. Now, the main question right now is, how about this? I created a box with a lot of square. Each of the small boxes represent a number. So this particular box means that it is 25. And this means that this is 58. And this will mean that it is actually a 40. So we can only choose 24 numbers from here. We also note that for any four element subset, the four element subset cannot be of this form. Otherwise, the sum of this is 2a plus b plus c, and the sum here also 2a plus b plus c, and it won't satisfy the condition. The other one would be a, b, a plus c, b plus c. Now, what I'm going to do is I will choose a 24. Let's say it is 24. So now I have only one sum. Second one, I take 23. So I will have 23. And from here, I have 47. 47. 47. Now I still can have the next one, 22. 22. I have to add 22 to this one. So this value will be different of 22 from this. So it is 10, 20, 22. So this value will come to here, and this value will come to here, and this value will come to here. It is obvious here that I cannot choose one. So one is out. I also cannot choose two. Two is out. And I also cannot choose 21. So 21 is out. The next smallest will be 20. 20. Seven of them, you need to add 20. So 20 and 20. So this will move here, move here, and move here. And these three will move to here. And this will move to here. Uh, with this new element 20, I have to rule out three. I have to rule out four. And I have to also rule out six. And I have to rule out seven. The difference here is equals to 5, so I also need to rule out a 5. And also I have to rule out a 19, otherwise 24 plus 19 will give me 43. So rule out 19 and rule out 18, okay, because the distance here is equal to 18. Then the next one will be equals to 17. So if I have 17, 17, this is 20, 19, 18, 17. This will come to here. And for this, this will be 20, 19, 18, 17. And 17, 17 for this two. For this one, 
this will go to 20, 19, 18, 17. So they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now we should have all together 31. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we have more to cancel off. Let's say for example, we have to cancel off. This is different by 10. This is different by 10. It should be cancelled off. This is different by this is different by 8. It will be cancelled off. This is different by 9. It should be cancelled off. This is different by 10, 11, 12, 14. 14 will be cancelled off. Here, 12 will be cancelled off. 13 will be cancelled off. 15 and 16 will cancel off. Now we left with only 11. So with 11, this is 11. So this will go to here. Uh, let me use small dot here. So this will go to here and this will go to here. For this, it will go to here. If that is 11, this is one possible case. So do you believe that this is actually the unique answer? With this six element set X, then it is nicely, beautifully, that satisfies the condition. And therefore, this will be the answer for this question. The construction part is a little bit tricky. Try and error. The beautiful part is to show that this is not possible and we'll see how other people do as shown here. This is end of the lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.